Today I fucked up by tickling my wife. So this happened last night, and I'm still recovering from it. A bit of backstory. My wife and I have been working the entire time during quarantine so we were able to keep some semblance of normality in our lives. She works for a website development company writing code and such. I'm an essential worker, with bright and early days and a 21 colon no oish bedtime. Q about 3 months ago. Her boss issues crunch for all devs. She has been working 10 to 14 hour days Monday to Friday. Naturally, she has been hard at work and our personal lives took a bit of a step back. We would still do things together during the weekends, but not as often. Until last night, we were watching a bit of some bullshit show on Netflix. It was really boring so we went right to the chill part of things. And this is where things took a wrong turn. Horny brained me decided it would be a fantastic idea to tickle my dangerously ticklish wife, horny brain me is an idiot, so I tickled. She yelped and, deservedly and unintentionally, headbutted me right across the face. As I'm laughing and holding my face, I notice she went pale. Look at my hands, blood. So I head to the washroom. As I'm cleaning my face I notice my lip is slightly lower than it should be so I turn it inside out to find a gaping hole near my two front teeth. So off to the emergency room we go. Shamefully explain to the attending what happened. She laughs. Get two stitches inside my mouth and am told to not eat anything hot or solid for the next 24 hours. When we get home she looks at me and says, you still horny? Me? Yup. Good times. Too long didn't read, horny brained me tickled my wife. Ended up with stitches in my mouth. Edit, spelling. Did too, thanks for all the awards and upvotes. Y'all are amazing. Edit 3, some people asked what was the show. I'm not sure on the English name since the show is in Turkish. Translating it directly from my native language it would mean The Guardian. Hope that helps. Edit 4, thanks again everyone. Did not expect this post to blow up the way it did. Doesn't matter, had sex. Not gonna lie this sub has conditioned me to expect any tickling story to end with piss or shit streaming down someone's leg. If my marriage isn't this wholesome, I'll stay single, thank you. This is oddly wholesome and funny as hell. At least she understands. Today I fucked up by thinking my fiancé only had two years left to live. So this happened a couple hours ago. To explain, my fiancé M28 has a birth defect that affects his kidneys, and we always knew one day that he would need a transplant. We didn't expect it as soon as we got it though, which was earlier in this week. He starts dialysis Monday. Anyways, in the heat of explaining to me the medical call he had earlier that morning, he said something along the lines of, I have two years to get the transplant. The pessimist in me took that sentence and ran to the darkest depths thinking he has two years left of life. I've been a mess for the last two days, and that's putting it sweetly. So today, I was pressing him about all the places we needed to apply, ways we could get the word out, etc., and I mentioned that we only had a two-year deadline. His face fell into confusion, and he was like, what? And I explained to him what I thought he had explained to me, that he only had bittersweet time left. Let me tell you that this poor man instantly came to me in pure concern, telling me I totally misunderstood and that he, in fact, would not die in two years. I have never felt so happy to be so dumb in my entire life. Too long didn't read, I misunderstood my fiancé's diagnosis for a death sentence. It's not. Small edit, the two years thing was apparently just the time frame to reapply to stay on the transplant list. Edit, who boy I did not expect this to blow up. There were 100 upvotes and a handful of comments on this when I went to bed about 6 hours ago. I'm going to do my best to read through what I can today. I've already seen a lot of great insight and information from those in similar situations with transplants and dialysis. I am very grateful to all of you. You've given me immense comfort and I can't wait to show my fiancé as well. Thank you all so much. My wife is waiting for her third kidney since childhood. Having a spouse on dialysis is not gonna be easy. It's amazing the technology exists, but it sucks having to use it. As someone who has had a kidney transplant, I say good luck to him. I am 5 years post transplant. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to hear you're doing well now it's definitely a long and scary road ahead of us, but it does give me comfort knowing it's much more common than I originally thought. 
What were the two years actually for them? He just has to reapply to stay on the transplant list, apparently. Smile. Please look into peritoneal dialysis. You can help him dialyze at home. I'm a dialysis technician for hemodialysis in center and I 100% agree with peritoneal or home hemo. It makes it less hard on the patient and they feel they have more freedom. I have two years to get the transplant. What else can this mean except I have two years left to get the transplant or I die? I have two years to get the transplant before I have to reapply to be on the transplant list. Op replied in another comment. Today I fucked up by having sex with the father of a woman I dated at a later date. Okay, so yeah, it's messed up. This happened years ago. So, here's the deets. A few years ago I met a bisexual dude who was around 25 years older than me. I was 23 at the time. We met through an app similar to Grindr. We meet up, hook up, end of it. Never met again. Around two weeks or so later I start dating this 20 year old girl. Things are going okay and about three weeks in the relationship we are walking through a park when she stops me and tells me that her dad is there and I should meet him. It's a bit soon, sure, but it's not like formal or anything so I agree. Lo and behold though, her daddy is the dude that was calling me daddy a few weeks back. We both freeze and stare at each other in absolute horror not knowing what to say. We awkwardly shake hands, girl attributes it to nervousness. Two weeks go by and one day she calls me to meet up. When I get there she is absolutely fuming. Like, I can literally see smoke coming out. She goes off on me about how could I possibly do this to her. I obviously have zero clue what she is on about. She tells me that her dad came clean to her and her mom about being bisexual and told his daughter, my gf, to break up with me so he can be with me. And apparently it was my fault because I was the one that turned him gay. So she throws a plastic container at me and storms off. Never heard from any of them again. El, doctor I meet up with a bisexual dude for an one off, start unknowingly dating his daughter, dude comes out to his family, gf blames me for turning him gay, breaks up with me. Edit 1, seriously thanks for the awards guys. Never thought I'd get awards on here. Edit 2, in case it wasn't clear yes, I am bisexual as well. Edit 3, I am a man, not a woman as many have thought. I thought that banging a bisexual dude would make it clear, smiley face. This sounds like a plot to a porn movie without the happy ending. A really bad one. Whatever you do to me I'll do to your daughter. Whatever you do to my daughter you'll have to do to me. You only needed to bang the mum to get the full set, smiley face, mom shrugs, begins undressing. I just want to know what was the plastic container she threw at you and why did she have it? Did you give her potato salad and she was returning the container back? So many questions. Biggest tooth is him telling your GF to break up with you so he could be with you. That's on him, not you. He had stuff to work through, for sure. Rough luck. Try not to think yourself as a home wrecker, because none of this is on you. Have to remember Op is hearing from girls POV. This could be a projection of her fears on him, or an exaggeration.